I know, before you comment down below, yes, I've already done one of these videos, but that cost money, and today in this video, we're going to be making a Minecraft server free, and this is for Mac, guys. So, to start with, you'll need to be on your Minecraft launcher. I'm doing it on the new launcher. So click the thing that says launch options, <coughs> click add new, and then click the thing that says download server. And it should send you this, and you'll download the jar file. Hold on a second, guys. Okay, so once it's downloaded, you should have the Minecraft underscore server dot 1.12.2 dot jar file. You can turn off Minecraft now. And then what you want to do is create a folder called something memorable. So just by doing that, you have to click on it, and then press enter and then <clears throat> the back button and name it something you'll remember like like minecraft server something like that okay um let's move on to the next bit okay the next thing to do is to drag the minecraft server into the file okay let's move on to the next bit Okay, the next thing you need to do is open text edit, and there's two ways to do this. One is on the top right corner of your screen, on the desktop screen, there should be the menu symbol. Next to that, if you have the updated Mac, there should be Siri. And then next to that, there's a little search light. Click on that search and type in text, and it will come up highlighting like this text edit. But if it doesn't, then just type in edit at the end press enter and then it should send you to here click new document and then go up to format which is sadly above my recording screen and I can't change that but at the top of your screen once you have this open you should see format click on it and then click make plain text there you go and the next thing is to paste the thing that I have in the description of my video Okay, so you need to go into the description of my video, the description of it. Um, highlight the thing that says text edit code, the thing below it. And then um, make, make a copy. Um, and then once you're on text edit again, hold down command and press V. Good, you've got that. So there is a bit more, I think, that you have to put in. Let me just check and we can continue. Okay, once you've done that, once you've pasted this, go to File, click Save, and save it as start.command. And make sure this is on desktop-icloud. And it says it up here, it says that it's already on, but make sure you tick the one that's a file, not a cloud. Okay, and then just save it to desktop. You can get rid of this now. And it should be somewhere... Yeah, there we go. It just appeared on my desktop here. It's named to start, but it's alright. It'll go back to start.command in a minute. Um, and let me find the next step. Okay, once you've got that, drag this start into your Minecraft server file. And it... I don't know why it changed. We have to put it as .command dot command there we go so these should be the two things in your file the minecraft server jar file and the start dot command file let's move on to the next step okay the next step is to go to your magnifying glass again this and search terminal press enter it should bring you to your minecraft terminal and then copy and paste the other thing that's in the description. Um, it'll say terminal command and then the thing below. Or just type it in. Press command V. And there's something very important. You have to put a space at the end. Very important. Space at the end. Let's move on. Okay, the next thing to do is to drag in this, this start.command onto the onto the the terminal okay and let's move on okay the next thing to do is 
open up this and it would come up with this. So you can solve that problem by going to your system preferences. Um, if it doesn't come up with this, just type in any letter on the keyboard and it should come up. Click on security and privacy. <coughs> Sorry. Click on the lock. Type in your passcode. And very quickly, click the thing that says open anyway. Open. And then lock it back up again. Because in the time that that lock is open, other people can access yours. Your computer, pretty much. So you have to make sure that you lock it again. But then it should give it permission to open. It should. Well, it didn't... It did, basically, and now you have loads of other files in here as well. Um, and let's move on. Just so you know, I didn't put these files in there. It did it itself, okay, guys? Right, let's move on. Okay, the next thing is to go on to this. It says eluta.txt. I can't even read the word, but it should be above logs, which is above your Minecraft server that you put in. Open it up. Come on. There we go. And change this thing that says false to true. Exit out. Exit out of this. Just um, let it cool down for a second. And then open it back up. Open it again. And you just need to make sure that that says true there. Um, then you can move on to the next step. If it says true when you typed it in, then that's good. If it still says false, sorry guys, I can't help you. Let's move on to the next step. So guys, now you are done. You're completely done, guys. Okay, so, then, you need to open up your Minecraft server. If This should be the part where it works. It might take a while to start, because it has to load the entire server. Basically, starting the first version of Minecraft, except with all the new code. Um, it will take a while to do this. Um, you have to give it a minute. It says preferring, pre preparing spawn area 3%, 25%, 30 And it, it should go all the way up to 100 And there will be this little warning at the bottom. Don't worry about it. It's just that bit of code doesn't recognise that the spawn has already finished starting. It, it says done, and then it does come up saying warn, can't keep up, did the system time, something, something, something. Don't worry guys, nothing will happen. It's just, it's just, it doesn't understand that this is already done. Don't worry, nothing bad about it. So, as long as you have this file open, you can go into your Minecraft... Come on. You can go into your Minecraft. And you need to go onto multiplayer. I'm gonna continue talking while while this is loading. It's taking a long time, I don't know why. Um you have to make sure that you don't close this. If you close this, your server will not work. By the way, this server's by the way, I did my own texture pack on this. You don't need a texture pack. Click on multiplayer, click on add server. And as long as you have the code open behind you, you this will work. Type in local host. Press enter all done. Scroll down to the bottom. Oh, hold on a second. Um, just a second, guys. So it guys, I already had the other Minecraft server that I made open because I tried it once before. And if you have the code open behind, <clears throat> this window, this should load up and say Minecraft server, a Minecraft server, 0 out of 20 players, and you can call it something if you like, um, I'll just have my server, and you can log on to it, by the way guys, this server, server, sorry, is personal guys, sorry I couldn't find one that wasn't personal, but this is a personal Minecraft server, I don't think it's even whitelisted, but it will work. Hold on a second, guys. Okay, sorry, guys. A fly got stuck in the radiator. Um, had to deal with that. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> so this is your Minecraft server. But there is one more step, though. 
which is um, it's very important that you put the step in, otherwise this is just a survival world just for you. I know that's kind of cool, but it's not really what you exactly want. So, because you'll notice that if I try and type in anything other than these simple commands, for example, game mode C, you do not have permission, or slash TP, you do not have permission, slash, um, yeah, all these commands basically, you don't have permission, and you can do that in a couple of steps. So, close off Minecraft, and go back onto your code, there should be a little bar that you can type things in below all the code. Look, it even says, it even says what was going on. Um, and type in, in this bar, no slash, no capitals, OP space your name. And if your name has capitals, you can put it in your name. Only your name, not the OP. So in my case, Isabel 7A. Press enter, and it goes into the code, OP Isabel 7A. So then you can load back up your Minecraft. There you go. <coughs> I just skipped ahead a bit. Um, hang on, is that? Yeah, that code's still open. Um, and if my Minecraft will ever load, come on. No, I don't want it to be big screen. There we go. Go on to multiplayer. Go back down to your server. Join it. And you should now have access to every command. We, there aren't plugins on this world. Um, I don't really know how to do that. I know how to get mods on a normal world, but I don't know how to get mods on a server. But I'm sure I'll look it up. Maybe I'll do a next video or something to improve the server. Um, but now it looks normal. But then if you do slash tab, you have access to all the commands. And you can go into creative. And there should be some other ones as well, like ban, ban list, kick. Um, I wonder what other ones there are. Um, I think there's slash IP. Um, there aren't really too many more commands, but I wonder if I can kick myself. Yeah, if, um, kicking. It says kicks by an operator. If you kick yourself or kick somebody else, it just kicks them off the server once. Um, just like, and then they can log back on. But if you ban them, which I'm not going to do, but if you ban them, then it permanently bans them. And there's no unban. Unless you install a plugin, which I don't know how to do. I'll probably do a tutorial later. But um, this is your Minecraft server. <coughs> um, it will be pretty glitchy, but keep in mind that every time you move your mouse a bit, this code has to add something to itself. See, look, Isabel 7A moved too quickly. Like, um, that won't happen on normal Minecraft world. Well, it's just, you have to, just like, chill, 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 man. <laughs> yes, um, like, it, it will glitch out a bit, but that code is constantly running and Everything that you just set up is running, so it will be a bit glitchy. But this is your Minecraft server. Oh, wait, something's wrong. Something's wrong! <laughs> Bye! Sorry guys, I forgot. There's one more thing. If you... If you go out and... If you get rid of this code... Not get rid of it, just turn it off your Minecraft server, it's not, you can't get it, but if you were to open the code back up, um, it will need to run again, but it doesn't take very long. Come on. Come on. I feel like I'm talking to a dog who's not behaving very well. Come on. Here we go. <coughs> um, it shouldn't take as long as the first time because it's already done it once. It'll just... 0% 625, it's a lot quicker. Uh, hold on a second. Okay, so once you've done that, it should say done. And if you refresh again, it's open again. So all you need to do once this code is shut to be able to open your Minecraft server again is go into the folder and open up your code. 
Um, simple as that. Okay, so that's it for this video. You guys have a Minecraft server, all in this little file. So, oh no, it is actually a whitelisted server. Yeah, you can whitelist players. Okay, so um, I think to whitelist people, you would either type in chat slash whitelist, then the player's name, or you would go into the code, and where you typed in OP, you would type in um, whitelist, then the player's name. But for now, bye guys!